Okay, so we've got our lights in here. That's looking nice. Our little reception area is looking pretty, pretty swanky. Um, I'm not actually sure what these holographic emitters are supposed to do. Pyramid. Uh, projection of a plant. Oh, well, okay. Well, we'll come back to it. Let's see what happens. Um, and as you can see, our droids love this area. So, you know, all power to them. We then have our crafting area here that we can do a huge amount of work in. Um, this works really nicely. Again, loads of charging, loads of storage. The resource bench is brilliant. Um, everything, again, is heat controlled. It's, it's actually amazingly important to do this. So if you see heat flows all the way through, I and mean, look at this, even all the way through the, the prison, um, we have cooling and heating and so on. So it, it is a modern marvel of, uh, of the game. Um, but again, it's a constant challenge to get uh, resources. Um, I've just noticed we have an artifact, so I'm going to save because <laughs> I don't want to lose this precious base. Let me just save it, and then we go... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Security guards. Oh, dear. Right, so we now, <laughs> we now have some angry scythers coming their way. So let's see. Look, see our turrets? I've already just switched on. They've sensed... There's enemies. All right, I need to get our dudes inside, actually. Uh, well, let's just make sure they stay inside. Again, Alpha looks like he's heading to the door. No, don't head to the door. Our friends are... Look, they're rebel. Why are they doing... Why are they visiting us? The Rebel Alliance. Rebel scum visiting us. Oh, well. Um, hopefully, they're going to go straight for that wooden door. That's my ploy. Yes, they are. Brilliant. So, let's let them come in. And then they will be met by a grade... Whoa. Whoa. The traders are shooting them. Oh, look at that, look at that. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Come on, fire again, fire again. <laughs> there we go. Right, so basically, he's been shot with, with rebel guns. He's running. Look at that, our rebel buddies saved the Empire. I don't think I quite realise that. Oh, no. Did you hear that? We lost someone. We're losing dudes. We're losing dudes. Oh, there we go. They're dead. So, I kind of should feel bad about that because, like, they saved me. Um, I don't really feel bad about it. Lol. And look, they've, they, <laughs> they're actually bringing a trading post with them. So, let's go and see what we can buy from them. That is lovely. So, again, that's, that's a nice feature from Epic, the ability to do that. But that's pretty funny that, you know, we had a, a Scyther come get us. I don't know if we can claim their things. So, I'm going to. Let's just see what happens. So what should happen now is our droid, our Chromatus, there he is, he's going to go, there we go, so he's going to come gobble them up and, and spit them out. So there we go. Um, it's brilliant, isn't it? I love it. So again, look, rebel, rebel troopers. I'm not quite sure that that's quite right, but anyway. Um, but look, they have a, a trade depot, so we can now buy from them. So this is lovely jubbly. So what have I got to maybe, uh, maybe sell them? Well, I can sell them food, because I'm doing a load of food at the moment. So that's given us a huge amount of money in. So what do I want to buy from them? Well, maybe a drilling head. That might be worth buying. That keeps my mind going. Um, maybe I should buy a second mining drill, because then I can actually build a second mine. In fact, I will do that. And then I think, really, I just want to buy steel from them, to be honest. So there we go. So, you know, don't get any money out of it, but there's a lot of barter just happened there. So that's been quite useful. And that they then draw, drop into my base the things I need. So that's, that's nice. Um, just realised I do need to make drill heads. So let me just make a constant supply. So just keep making them until we have five. There we go. So again, the crafting droids and stormtroopers, they do craft as well, but generally the droids um, lead the charge on crafting, and so they will make sure that we always have that. And then that means my mine will constantly make um, stuff, so that's pretty good. Um, look at that, we managed to get some bits off them. So there's a parker, a couple of parkers there. The, the Chromatus just gobbles the body up and then burns it. Feels a bit wrong, if I'm honest, but, you know, what can you do? Um, there we go. So we're starting to research shields. That's nice. Um, our, I don't know why that's not building. Oh, it needs silver. There we go. So what we could do is we could just build silver from that. But I think for now, I don't know why it switched off. Actually, that's interesting. Anyway, um, so that will start to produce resources. Um, so just to confirm, our little switch thing here worked beautifully. That was absolutely beautiful. So it sensed the enemy was in range. It switched on the quite hungry, power-hungry uh, turrets, and then that obviously worked quite nice. 
Um, the, again, the problem is is that you're constantly kind of fighting stuff to act before you can actually start to think about what you want to build. So I think my kind of thought at the moment is we need to build something. Oh, hello, we're activating our AI. Look, look at that, we're activating it. Ooh, this is exciting. So finally, our AI, we have had we built that a while ago, but we never had the plasteel to do it. There we go, look at that. We have an AI called Mai, and it's a female mobile AI. That's interesting. So, okay, crap skills, never mind. <laughs> no gear, so we probably need to gear them up. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to research. Okay, well, let's just dress them up. Let's put them in... I guess Stormtrooper armor, really. There we go. Let's just put them in Stormtrooper army uh, gear. There we go. And I could even put them in a commander's helmet just so we know that they are AI. Look at that. <laughs> um, let's give them a gun as well. So we've got the blasters, the E11 blasters. I didn't know that's what they were called. Honest. Honest. Um, let's put some shirts on underneath because you see they can wear different layers. Um, I think they can wear boots. Muffalo leather fur boots. That should be quite warming. Oh no, no, it's not. There we go. Um, okay, what else can I put on? Probably that's it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we now have an AI. Interesting, eh? So if we go to our overview, May I AI is there. So let's give them some other things they can do. So let's just make them do everything. Okay, they won't do art because they're not really kind of independent thinkers. That's fine. But that's cool. So we have another, we have the ability to create troops now. So they're quite resource hungry. So if I just show you, if I, you know, if I basically press play on that, you see it needs 500 steel and 350 silver. So, you know, it's not bad. It might be easier just to build droids, but these things are, are a lot more kind of capable of learning. Droids are pretty much dumb. That's it. And if I show you what I mean, look at that. A droid is just good at one thing. It can't do anything else. So that's why it's probably a nice thing to build AI. Um, I need to make sure they've got charging. So look, that's, if I just set, I don't know, have I got another charging suite somewhere? I don't know, but anyway, I think they need charging. Maybe they don't. I thought they did. I thought mobile AI, because they're androids. There's a difference between an android and data, you know, Lieutenant Commander Data, and probably the difference between the Raja Raja one from you know, those, those much acclaimed films. So. I think that's the difference. Um, post in the comments if it's not, but it certainly seems to me in this game to be that. Okay, right, so the next thing to start looking at, again, our droids are just congregating. Let's give them something to build. Oh, look at that, our rebel friends are happy with our with our hospitality. Nice. Sorry that two of you died. Oh, look at that, there's a corpse, a desiccated corpse. Oh, no, 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 let's get him as well. There we go, there we go. So there's a, a tribes person there who must have strayed into my guns for some reason. Um, what we're going to do is we'll build a little mini generator house I think over these bases here. So let's just do that. So again looking for steel really because I like to build everything in steel. Let's just build a little kind of warehouse around. I'm just going to pause it while I do this. So that's the beginning. I know it's not on center but that's by purpose. And I think if we do something like that, um, no, we won't do that. I just draw. Yeah, this is the way I work. This is the way I work. Let me just draw it out. So we then have the ability to build something here. I don't know. We can look at that, and then we have still conduit walls, and then we can maybe just section off the base like that. So again, not too sure what we're going to do with it, but I think the purpose is this is going to be a mini base that just protects these things a bit more so we'll make the doorway here in fact no we won't we'll be a bit smart than that oh no i don't want marble i want steel steel there oh, gold I could build it out of blingy blingy gold but i'm not gonna so steel there we go and then we can have the ability to just maybe put the door there and then what we'll do is we'll build steel auto doors throughout and then let's just make it a bit more interesting in terms of designs. So let's just maybe bulge it a little. Because that would be nice. And we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Nice. And one, two, I've done that wrong. Still conjure it. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's looking super sexual. And then there we go. So you see what I mean? Just gives it a bit of bit of character. Bit of a bit of a character. And then we just do. There we don't. We do that. 
Nice. So then we have kind of the ability. Still conjure walls, still conjure walls, still conjure walls, still conjure walls. Wall. And then we could just go blip. Just makes it a bit more appealing, a bit more aesthetic. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of like the beginnings of some form of base. And then I think what we can do is we can then populate this with, with stuff. Now, I'd, I'm not sure what yet, but let's just start that. We can then put a floor down. Now, I'm generally using metal dark panels because they look amazeballs. And again, I'm just going to... I could do it like that. You can see how I'm doing it. There we go. It's like painting with Bob Ross, this is. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But that is, it feels like that sometimes. And it's like, you know, you're not wrong. And it's your, it's your, it's your world. You can do paint whatever you like. <laughs> but to me, it doesn't feel like flipping Bob Ross. Um, but there we go. So our droids go to work. So I'm just going to speed it up. And as you can see, they're pretty speedy buggers. Um, there's a lot of trees in the way. So again, this is where we do start to get a few challenges. And what we're going to do is, well, well, we'll build the base first. And again, I just need to flip back to our main base just to make sure that this thing is producing. I'm going to add a build to make iron. I'm just going to put it above it and then do until you have. And I'm just going to set it to 2,000 because I think currently my, my steel limit is 1,000 and that's not enough. So steel, again, I'm going to set that to 2,000. And I think that's another one there. Yep. So do until you have 2,000. Perfect. So our crafting droids will just keep making that until, you know, eventually they're looking good. Okay, so some of the stormtroopers do build things as well, so they're going to come help. But the, v the vast majority of building is done by... In fact, I'm just going to knock all this down because I don't like these. I don't like having kind of other buildings too near me. So we're going to deconstruct all that. That's bronze as well, so that's going to be a nice little hall. We'll do the same over here. So let's just claim all this and deconstruct all that. Let's do this weird wall that was built here as well. Deconstruct. So you see what I mean? It just makes it look a bit tidier. And we've got a load of... And then our hauler droids, because we've got logistics people, and again, seems some of our stormtroopers are doing it as well. Come and pick it all up as well. Look at that. They pick up loads. That's well cool. Okay. So, what we're going to do with this base? Well, this is the this is the question. I think we're going to turn this into maybe a droid base. So we'll base some droids here that can be builders and that kind of thing. Um, we'll put a bit of security here as well. So then that's very clear that if anybody attacks it, they're going to have a bad time. And I think really, um, this is going to be the beginnings of our kind of modular base. And eventually the whole map will be concrete with a little bit of forest around the side. Because I, I think the base from Return of the Jedi was huge. So that's kind of my plan. Um, it's probably going to take them forever to do that, so we'll leave them to it. Um, hopefully, and another problem here is the marsh. Okay, so the marshes are going to be a major pain in the ice. So um, I think we're going to have to start filling them in. It takes forever to do this, so you know this, this will be something we'll just return to. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just placing fertilizer pumps. This just literally starts to fill them in. It takes for flipping ever, I can tell you. Um, but once you've set them up, they just encroach into the into the area. Just need to make sure they're powered. Let's just make sure they're all powered. There we go. Um, same over here as well. Look at that. On my doorstep as well. Would you believe? Let's just do that. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So then we could just power them as you see thusly. Perfect. So that's pretty much the, the, the remind, remainder of what we're going to do. So we'll cut that, join us in about an hour's time of play and let's see how we get on.